to sit. Start with sitting whatever's comfortable in the leg position to get you to line everything up. So neutral pelvis, not too far back or forward. You want to have a nice long low back. Rib cage, instead of going too far forward or too far underneath, you want it neutral. So if it's a belt facing your rib cage, if your rib cage, if your rib cage is facing your pelvis, pelvis is facing your rib cage. So you have a nice cylinder. You can even put your hands on your sides to expand. Keep that nice connection on that um, torso. And you probably talked about this a little bit. Shoulders are relaxed, chin is slightly tucked, neck is long. From here, wherever is comfortable to put your legs, they can be out and or in a little bit. Knees are slightly out. You're gonna take this good position and you're gonna hinge just at the hip, maintaining the position. If anything is misaligned or shifts, the pelvis rotates, the chin juts out, the rib cage moves, you want to come back to center, realign, and do it again. You control how far you go. You want to feel engagement all the way across. If it's centered in one particular place, come back, realign, make sure you're really expanding. Once you've got that, you can add some fun to this. You can grab a ball or a book or something of similar nature. Hold it wherever is comfortable, farther away is harder, and then hinge. Once you hold that hinge and you get comfortable, you can work on rotating. When you rotate, make sure the rib cage stays facing your pelvis. I'm gonna show you what not to do. You do not want your rib cage to come out as you rotate. If anything happens, come back to center, figure it out. Go ahead and hinge and I notice as I rotate my pelvis and my rib cage are still in alignment. They're not jutting forward or backward. You can also play with lifting. You can do that with just your arms, lifting one, lifting both. Nice controlled movements, moving with your eyes. You can go as far as you're comfortable and can maintain come back up. You can also play with lifting a foot. Again, just make sure you keep alignment. The other foot, lift a foot and move. You can have a foot lifted and play with the ball. All these are good ways to challenge your body, making sure you're building those challenges on a strong foundation. The foundation is key.